Okay, here we've got a different type of normal distribution question. We've been given, well, we've got a random variable x normally distributed. We've been given the mean, but we haven't been given the standard deviation. But what we have been given is a probability. So the probability that x is bigger than 25 is 0 0.2. So we've got a normal distribution with a mean of 20 and we know that above 25 we've got a probability of 0 0.2 so this time we need to go from the probability to the standardized score so we're going to find our z number find the standardized score and then put it into the formula so we've been given a probability of 0 0.2 and we can use the different normal distribution table this time with the common probabilities so we've got all the probabilities 50 percent 40 percent 30 percent 20 percent 15 percent 10 percent that we will usually be asked about so we've got 0 0.2 so where's 0 0.2 20% 0 0.2 is a Z of 0 0.8416. So we can look up the probability and find the standardized score. Then we're going to substitute into the formula. So 0 0.8416 equals X, which is 25 minus the mean which is 20 over the standard deviation which is what we're working out so we've got 0 0.8416 equals 5 over the standard deviation so if we multiply by the standard deviation multiply both sides by the standard deviation and divide by 0 0.8416 divide both sides by 0 0.8416 and we will get our standard deviation so 5 divided by 0 0.8416 gives us a standard deviation to three significant figures of 5.94 okay here's a slightly different question if you want to pause the video and try and give this one a go you can otherwise just keep watching so this time we haven't been told the mean so we don't know the mean but we know the standard deviation this time is 5 and we know that the probability of being more than 20 so there's 20 the probability of being more than 20 is 0.15%. 15%. So we can look up 0.15. Probability of 0.15 gives us a Z, a standardized score of 1.0364. So we can substitute in now. So Z equals X minus the mean divide by the standard deviation so 1.0364 equals 20 minus the mean which we don't know divide by the standard deviation which is 5 so we multiply both sides by 5 which gives us 5.182 equals 20 minus the mean plus the mean to both sides so 5.182 plus the mean is equal to 20 and subtract 5.182 from both sides and we get a mean of 14 
I'll write the whole number, 818 I've got. 